Today I am going to talk about how an air fryer works. I'm also going to talk about some of the uses and some of the benefits and drawbacks of an air fryer. So an air fryer is actually marketed as a healthier alternative to a deep fryer. And the main reason for that is that an air fryer actually works by coating the oil and it uses much less oil. So how it works is it has a single heating coil on top like an oven. Above this heating coil is a fan that will blow and it will circulate the air through the tray and cook everything very evenly. The display for this particular model uses touch buttons and you can set everything manually. You can set the temperature manually and the time manually or you can use one of the available presets. One nice feature is that when you pull the tray out everything will stop. When you put the tray back in it will start back up again at the time and temperature you left off at. So I think the name air fryer is actually a bit misleading. You don't actually need to use oil for an air fryer. In fact, this is almost identical to a convection oven. If I were to give this a name, I would probably call it a toaster convection oven or a portable convection oven. How you would actually use an air fryer is a little more diverse than a deep fryer. You could do many of the same similar things as a deep fryer like cooking french fries or chicken. You can do veggies or all different kinds of meats. Also, really anything that you would cook in a traditional oven, you could cook in an air fryer. I think one of the greatest uses for an air fryer is actually reheating food, especially fried food. A lot of times I'll go out with my wife and we'll get some fried chicken, have leftovers and reheat it in the air fryer and it's just as good as when we bought it. So some of the benefits of an air fryer, for one, uh, it's portable. While it is quite large, it's a nice way to allow you to have a convection oven that is not your traditional convection oven that comes in your full-sized oven. Another benefit of this is the amount of oil you use is completely up to you. You could use a lot of oil or you could use no oil at all. Because of the fan on this air fryer, it also has faster cook times and you don't have to cook at such a high temperature. And because everything is enclosed, it makes an air fryer very safe. You don't have to worry about splashing oil. So some of the drawbacks of an air fryer as opposed to the traditional deep fryer is you will not be able to cook all of the deep fried food in the same way. For example, tempura or donuts, it just won't really work in an air fryer. And going along with that, the taste is not going to be exactly the same. If you compare french fries that are cooked in a deep fryer as opposed to an air fryer, they're not going to be the exact same consistency or taste. An air fryer also is rather tall and large when you compare it to something like a toaster oven. And one thing that you should be aware of with an air fryer is the sides do get rather warm. Now they won't burn you, but on the back there's an air vent and that can be very dangerous and you should not have that going up against a wall or right underneath anything that could melt. So in my personal opinion, I've really enjoyed having an air fryer. I think it's a really good investment because it can replace the microwave or a toaster oven or even a deep fryer depending on how you use it. I have completely stopped using the toaster oven I have and I also use the microwave a lot less now that I have this air fryer. Overall I like the way that it cooks food. I like cooking french fries in this. While it's not exactly the same, I still think french fries cooked in an air fryer are really pretty good. And I especially like this for reheating leftovers. It's just a quick and fast way to reheat things and it makes things a lot less rubbery than you would get in something like a microwave. So if you are considering getting a toaster oven or maybe even a deep fryer, maybe you should consider getting an air fryer instead.